State game here. I know you remember it. I know it's still probably fresh. Do you say anything to these guys before this game to make sure that doesn't happen again? No, nah, I haven't said anything to them. Uh, it's it's not really much to say. I mean, if you're not not ready for this game, uh, game day is going to be there. It's a top 15 matchup. If you're not ready for this game, then you out you don't know why you playing college football. I don't know why you came to Clemson because, I mean, that's just this is just the type of things that we we came here for. You know, to be that premier school to go up and play on game day, be a top 15 team, be a top 10 team. You know, have these big matchups against other top schools in the nation. So I mean, if you're not pumped up for this one, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Did you learn anything from that game two years ago about how you set up, the way you prepared, the way you? what you did during the day. Did you learn anything that you can carry forward to this game as far as a, a, a night game in the Valley of that magnitude and how you responded, how the team responded to you and how you did Really just execution. I mean, we didn't really execute good that night at all, you know, on the defensive side and on the offensive side. So really, you know, just going through practice, just focusing on executing everything that the coaches give us in our game plan and going out there and preparing, you know, with a purpose and just coming out on top. What kind of message has the coaching staff been preaching about all the hype for this week? They haven't really too much hit on anything about the hype. I mean, it's just we're focusing on Clemson. I mean, if we do what Clemson has to do, then we'll come out on top and win the game. We focus on everything else. We focus on game they being there. We focus on them being the top 10 team. Then that's when you lose focus and then things slip away. So we're just focusing on Clemson and doing what we have to do. Does it help? to have such a long time to prepare so you can kind of do some of that preparation before a lot of the hype, a lot of the noise starts to amp up a little bit? Yeah, it definitely helps. I mean, get the game plan down. You know, you really, we really got the game plan down already and this week is just going to be fine tuning it, you know, just working on a few things that Coach Venables feels like we need to change and correct. So I definitely feel like that extra week we have is definitely going to help us prepare. They're freshman quarterbacks, similar to, to somebody that you've seen before? Uh, not really, not really. Uh, if I had to compare him to somebody, hmm, I really don't. I really don't know. Uh, I mean, the kid can throw the ball. I mean, they don't really run with him like they did with Malik Zaire. Uh, but I, I watched a few of their games. He can run, so we're going to be focused on that. But I don't really know who. Who I can compare him to, and uh, he's a he's a good football player. When you look at their offense, what is the single biggest challenge in facing someone like these guys? Uh, not giving up big plays. Uh, they get chunk plays. You know, if you can get chunk plays, then that's gonna that's gonna take the energy from the defense. You know, take the energy from the fans. So we just can't give up those chunk plays. We have them getting. 30-yard pass and 50-yard run and things like that. You just gotta eliminate those plays. I know some of your teammates have highlighted you as somebody who's been a leader on the defense this year. Is that something you pride yourself on being? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely want to be known as that leader on the defense, that guy who the players know is gonna give his all every time he steps on the field. You know, and I hope they'll give their all every time we step on the field for me. So uh, I definitely like like being known as that guy. You know, and I'm gonna keep on doing what I have to do so my guys respect me in that way. Players here in South Florida totally understand, appreciate the history of Notre Dame and its place in college football. Uh, I, I don't know. I know I do. I know I, do. I definitely do. That was uh, they were in my top five coming out. You know, so I definitely know know a bit about them. You know, and I respect I respect what they do as a program. You know, and now that I get to go up against them, you know, it's even greater respect seeing what they have done this year. They were in your top five. How long did they kind of? Stay in contention for you? Uh, they were in contention all the way until I visited Clemson. When I came up here uh, over the summer, pretty, it really wasn't no, nobody in, in contention anymore because I knew I wanted to come here. Did you visit South Bend? Did no, you I never visited. Yeah. Jaron, you were obviously <clears throat> part of last year's defense, number one in the country. Did you at all ever worry about that, you know, after losing so many guys, that this year's group wouldn't? Put on the showing that it's doing right now. Uh, nah, nah, not me. Yeah. I, I always knew we, we can come out and do the things that we're doing this year, and that we can actually mimic what we did last year because we we lost some great guys, but we also had some guys backing them up that can play ball too. Uh, 
it's gonna it's gonna be big for us this game coming out there and shutting these guys down, you know. Uh, so I feel like that's what we did last year. We went we went into those hostile environments and played in those big games, and we were able to shut those guys down. So I feel like if we can do that this week, you know, we'll just put a stamp on this as you know this defense has not slowed down because many will say we haven't played anybody. So going out there and playing against uh, Notre Dame and doing it to them, that'll be a big step for us this season.